Yesterday, I decided that my entire closet needed to go. I think that there's just a lot of things in it that I don't really wear and I just, it needs to go to a new home. So I decided to clean out my entire closet pretty much. I did film this video yesterday. Also, I got my nails done today and they're freaking adorable. Stan and Beauty on IG. Game plan for today, I'm thinking, I know I have homework, but I need to get done. So I have four of those assignments, which hypothetically, I think it'll take me about two hours. Go through my entire closet. If I still have motivation after that, go through essentially everything else in my room. Oh, and also before I started filming, cleaned the band on my Apple Watch. So if you don't change your band on your Apple Watch very often, while you're watching this video, take it off, take it apart, clean it. Cause mine was disgusting. <laughs> As for the clothes clean out part of it, Everybody just makes a Snapchat story and says, join this if you want close. And then they post like t-shirts for $2. It's amazing, I love it. <laughs> um, so if there's some stuff that I think I can part with for easy money, I could definitely do that. If not, I'll either donate it or list it on Curtsy. I use Curtsy a lot. I buy a lot of clothes over there. I'll link my thing in the description. I'm gonna finish eating this and then I'm gonna run to the gas station down the road, get a Red Bull, and then we begin. So, buckle up. got my Red Bull, coconut one, of course, it's the best one. While well, I was in the gas station, my mom calls me. She had a package for me, because I got a new package from Bubble that I need to do a little unboxing for. She has like an hour lunch break, so usually I just spend that with her. I have my Red Bull, I've had my caffeine for the day. And so I got a prime lemon lime, zero sugar. I have my three beverages for the day. I think I'm gonna start with my dresses first, because I probably have the least amount of that compared to everything else. So I'm gonna pull them out and then we will get started. Nothing about my life is actually organized, but my closet, however, is always color coded. I'm gonna put it upside down so it's out of order now. Two of them are here. Quite a few that I literally just bought. Like I just bought this one. I know there's an orange one, an pink one, and a everything else, so. Those ones I'm just gonna immediately pull out and just put in the hang back up pile. Cause I just got them, there's no reason for me to go through them or anything like that. Since I live in a sorority and we have formals and everything like that, I just always keep one or two little two formal attire dresses because either I might need them in a pinch or somebody else might. I should probably consolidate that down to like two. One for me, one for somebody else if they absolutely need it. Five, good Lord. Maybe I'll keep three. Okay, I'm horrible at this. Ah, hate ADHD. I forgot to open it again. Hold on, taste test. Ooh, I like that. Keep that over there. Keep it in sight so I don't forget that it exists. I've had this one for years. I don't think I've ever actually worn it out of the house. So I'm, that constitutes two, I'm getting rid of it. I think these are two that we'll keep as, in case of emergency formal dress. <laughs> I'm also starting a, I need to try it on before I make a decision about a pile. I think my general rule is just going to be, if I haven't worn it since the time that I've actually added it into my closet, I'm not going to. A little dress could be really cute with like a long sleeve underneath it, but have I ever worn it with that? No, these two are also new ones that I just got. I saw this in the window of a little boutique, but if you remember at the Branson Landing, this little boutique has the cutest stuff and they were so sweet. I talked to another girl that was in a sorority at Mizzou. She helped me pick this one and a yellow one that I'll show you later on off. But I think I'm gonna wear this one to our philanthropy round since I'm the philanthropy chair. Nice neon orange. Look at me, tight vibes. I also should really just try to start getting rid of all of the sheen things in my closet because hopefully they're not gonna last me as long as things that are better. This was also a new one that I just got. It's from Francesca's. I will never let go of this dress. Bury me in this dress, actually. This was the other one that I got from that brand co place. It fits me so perfectly. Oh, somebody's getting pulled over. Uh-oh. And it was on the sale rack. So, obviously, I had to get it. I'm keeping <laughs> quite a lot, but I did get rid of quite a few. I'll give that a three out of ten. 
on my get rid of ability. I kind of just really quickly went through my t-shirts while they're still hanging up. I haven't gone through my sorority t-shirts yet, but I did end up getting rid of all of these. Sheen, 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 Sheen. I got half a bit of Sheen. I like to buy things at thrift stores that are just funny. Run your car, not your mouth. Is it funny? Yes, but do I need it? No. I break because I keep forgetting about it. Should we play Rotten Ball right now? We moved on to more like my meeting slash formal attire that isn't dresses. So like my pants, my tops, my blazers, things like that. I'm gonna try probably just all of these on because I don't know which ones of them fit and which ones of them I don't like the way they fit. Where did I get this and why is it so cute? I kept one turtleneck and truthfully, I'm just going to go ahead and donate it. I just know that I will not be wearing this because it will make me go crazy. Who's next? This one is gonna be bad. Y'all are not ready for this one. Tank tops, going out tops, all of that. There's a lot. I think what I would like to do in a perfect world is in my little like six cube organizer with the little pop-up cubes, put all of my going out tops in one of those so they're not taking up as much space in my closet because I only reach for them two days a week. It's that, this entire thing. I mean, not all of it is like considered going out tops, but a good freaking chunk of it is. I also have an issue of black cropped t-shirts. There is, I think, four on this one hanger. Oh, but the issue is they all have different necklines. V-neck, tight fitting, square neck, regular neckline, not tight fitting, regular neckline, tight fitting. I've had this cropped t-shirt for so many years. It should probably be retired. What is in my eye? Oh, I hated that. Fun fact about me, my worst phobia things touching my eyes. One shoulder tops. I never reach for them. It's time for them to go. I think I'm just gonna speed through these and then I'll show you how many I'm keeping versus getting rid of at the end. by the time lapse I put um, almost everything into the basket. That was that. High key, we're getting places, people. I do have all of my drawers. I have six drawers of clothes. My work group chat is blowing up right now. I should probably look at that, but I'm busy. I think I'm gonna take a really quick break from doing clothes and organizing before I move on to my dressers to complete at least one or two of those homework assignments. I will be back in a bit. Uh, it's accidentally many hours later because I went downstairs, made dinner. All of my like roommates were home and so we were all just hanging out in the kitchen for a while. I let them look through the clothes that I was getting rid of and, and then tried on all of the stuff that I decided I needed to try on from my closet. So I think it's time we tackle my drawers, which means a lot of trying on jeans, unfortunately, so. Also, it just looks really pretty outside. Wanted to share. So I actually ended up going through my pajama drawer the other day. This bottom drawer, however, jeans. So many flipping pairs of jeans. I think I've opened this drawer once the entire summer. I think I'm just gonna take all of it out and throw it on my bed and we'll go from there. That's only the first drawer, there's another one. Not all jeans. This is a problem. Oh dear God. There's a few of them that I know fit. I wear them, they're fine. So those ones I'm not even gonna bother with. I'm just gonna put them back in the drawer and call it a day. See, my issue is I go to our thrift store and our thrift store always just has such a big selection of jeans. There's always a pair of jeans to be bought there. I just see a brand that I like, Old Navy. Don't try them on, bring them home. They don't fit me perfectly. And I should really just stop trying to thrift jeans. Excuse me, this pants. Those actually don't even belong in there. Baller. I wore these the other day and I hated them. 
but we're back another hour later everybody because my phone decided to not have enough storage are gray jeans still cute like i'm gonna keep them and then when i post the video you guys let me know whether they're still cute or not because i don't know these i've had them for so long but okay you see this at one point was connected making this rip a lot less big and then this was also connected here okay yeah, no, they're just, they're, they, they just gotta go. This is the only pair of mid-rise jeans that I own. I hate low-rise and I will live and die on that hill. Some people, oh my God, they look so good in them. Me? Oh God, no. Now we have try-on pile of five. Five is not bad, I can work with five. And we're getting rid of one, two, three, four. Okay, that's not as good as I thought it was. 11, 12, I know there's a pair over there, 13, 14. You know, I think I can work with 14. Let's try to fit them all in a drawer. Not two drawers, one. I think I'm gonna try, I think the method I'm gonna go with is rolling them as tightly as I can. This is going to be a long process, I'll be back. Guys, I have wonderful flipping news. It fit and there's room to spare. So I'm trying to think, okay, when I move to my room back downstairs, there's only one of these. I have two of them right now. I could probably combine swimsuits, pajamas, maybe even jean shorts. Jean shorts could even maybe fit in here. I think we're getting places. Me and my ADHD have fought over this body armor all day. Kind of both good news and bad news is that all of the jeans that I said, try these on before you decide whether to keep them or not, fit. The good news is I don't have to play fight with any of my jeans anymore to see whether they fit or not. Bad news is I'm keeping an extra five pairs of jeans. It's fine, everything's fine. I feel so dead inside. It's been such a long day. It's not aesthetic, but it's real. And it is a lot better than it was. Dresses on this side, all color coordinated. All of my t-shirts, black up until blue. Uh, shoe rack. I didn't touch the shoes today. That's a different day. All of my sorority t-shirts and then all of my nicer tops are down there i have a little belt hanger it's a cute little thing business -y pants a couple flannels because i can never get rid of flannels hoodies tank tops workout tops going out tops etc and then i have some bags hanging over there i hope you guys enjoyed watching i did get rid of quite a few things i'm a lot happier about it than I was. In my 3 a.m. endeavors the other day, I decided I wanted to start a YouTube channel. So this is my first video. I don't really know exactly what type of content I plan on posting, but I'm just kind of wanting to do what I feel like doing. There's no real rhyme or reason to any of my content on any of my social media platforms. All my social media is just kind of like whatever I feel like doing and whatever I feel like posting. So hope you guys are excited to see more videos because I'm pretty excited to keep making them. Okay, that's all I have today. Bye friends.